Here what we're going to demonstrate is that the candle flame and all flames need a sufficient temperature to be sustained. If the temperature is dropped below a critical value, the reaction will suddenly stop. It will just quit. And I'm going to illustrate that by putting this metal screen into the flame. So the metal will cool the flame locally and reduce its temperature. And we'll see that I can chop off the flame. Now, once the metal gets hot, then the flame may regain sufficient temperature to be sustained. But below the screen, the flame doesn't know that it's going to be cooled until it gets to the screen, so it maintains itself. Above the screen, we'll cut it off. So I'm going to put the screen on this holder, and then I'll move it down, and we'll intercept the luminous flame itself. And we see I've cut off the flame. I'm moving the screen to keep it cool. If I leave it in place, we see the flame coming back above. If I move the screen closer to the wick, but maintain the flame below the screen, I can still cut it off. And now you see that the smoke is white, much like the same color when I blew out the flame on the wick. This white smoke is actually condensed fuel coming from the core of the candle flame in which we have the wick. If we were to look down, we'd see that that core is essentially hollow and the luminous zone is really just a circle around the wick. The luminous zone is where we have the reaction zone itself. We can observe that this white smoke is actually fuel by igniting it. And you see I can ignite it. The white fuel forms a mixture of fuel and air as it climbs up to the other flame I'm putting in place. And if its speed of propagation is lower than the flow flowing speed, I'll blow the flame off. And if it's the opposite, I could send the flame back to the screen. By chance, I could get it to a point where it might simply sit in a stationary mode much like the flame on your stove burner would sit. And there you have it. We have a stable premix flame and a diffusion flame below the screen.